In this lesson, universal design for signage. So let's define what universal design is, especially in terms of signage, before we look at some examples. So first of all, it's about making products and environments usable by all people as best as possible without the need for anything extra to change. Also, things should be as effortless as possible for people to use. So if you think of a sign, this is a good use of symbols or pictographs on, on signage and most people in the world could probably understand this sign regardless of what language or culture they're from. So signage should be as usable by as many people as possible worldwide. Also, we want to factor in people's individual ability. Perhaps, for example, somebody's reading speed. Some people can read fast, some people can read slow, but a good, well-designed sign will adapt, will be adapted to cover this reading speed. Also, universal design is about whatever a person's mobility, size, reach are, what their physical condition is, the design would be factored in to accommodate these things. A good signage, for example, should be readable whether you're sat in a wheelchair, so you've got a low vis visibility height, or whether you're tall, or wherever you're, the angle of vision is from, the sign should still be highly readable. By using symbols or pictographs that are recognized worldwide, this makes it much easier for everybody to read, regardless of language and culture or where people come from. And these are some good examples on screen, such as the blind person, represented by a person carrying a cane in, in the image, a disabled user, the elderly, somebody with audio and ear problems. So these are represented in the image, and the special assistants in the reception in the image. And these are great examples of universal design. But as I mentioned before, it's hard not to redesign as a designer because it's in your blood if you're a designer to try and come up with new innovative ways to design to to show things this is using a search on google for images for toilet symbol design so i've put the numbers there number one two three four that you can see on the picture and i think those four are quite difficult to understand if you're reading the sign quickly which is what we tend to do we don't tend to spend a long time looking at signage. So it needs to be something that can be understood quickly. Look at number two, for example. I can see the M in the middle and the W in the middle as well for women, but you're not going to notice that perhaps if you look quickly. In number three as well, you really have to think about it. And number four, well, I'm not even sure which is male or female, to be quite honest. So you want to keep to these recognize symbols that are known worldwide unfortunately it's about not designing in in a certain respect when it comes to universal design and signage look at this example toilets are signed in the same way worldwide there's certain symbols for the man and the woman so the first picture here is in thailand in the chiang rai area from when I was on holiday there last year. Great country, by the way. And on the right, this is from Crocodile World in England. Fantastic attraction. But despite one in Thailand and one in UK, they're both the same in terms of symbols. It's easy to understand wherever in the world you're from. So look at these two pictures as well. Where are the symbols? If you had symbols for toilets on these two pictures, it would make it a lot more usable for, by a lot more people. Both of these signs could be easily improved with a symbol for the toilets. Colors are also very important in universal design. You can see in this example from, a, from an airport in the United Kingdom, and this is the luggage baggage collection area. The fact that they use colors to represent the different sections through which you can walk. The red represents danger or risk. The risk in this case is that if you do not declare to customs something that you are supposed to, you could be in trouble. So this is red, danger, risk, watch out. 
Green represents something quite positive. If you have nothing to declare, you may go through the green section into the arrivals area to meet your family and to get your transport. So green represents the positive here. And blue is used as quite a neutral color. So this is good universal design because it's making use of colors and most of us worldwide will have an idea of what these rep colors represent. Most of us would understand that red is a warning and this is so this is a good image for representing colors and universal design symbols can also be very very helpful when it comes to multiple languages on signage if you are trying to put a sign into two languages it's very challenging because you can have a lot of text and it's difficult to distinguish between the two languages sometimes if you use only symbols this overcomes the problem there is no need to put in two languages you're using the universal language universal design using symbols in this case for the toilets and you know including the disabled toilets and nappy changing if you enjoyed this brief introduction to universal design you might be interested in the big package that we have for the wayfinding signage design training and it covers over 60 minutes worth of video well, presentations using PowerPoint and it includes information on hours on signage and how to design it and layout, color coding, multi-language signage design, placement and positioning of signage, text on signs, size of signs, commercial opportunities as a commercial, sorry, as a signage maker and common signage design mistakes. So if you're interested in that, look above this video, you should see a card which you can click on and it'll take you straight to the training. And please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel on Wayfinding. Thanks for visiting and watching this video. Thank you very much.